All right, keeping it going. This is loading very slowly. That's what it is, the beard struggle. Uh, I'm uploading a bunch of YouTube videos to all the previous ones, so internet's just super slow right now. Uh, but actually, that's good because it gives you an idea of how the um, the page would load in international cases, probably, you know, super slow. Okay, I, okay, I'm scrolling. Uh, right away, I'm going to see what services you're using just to understand what I'm looking at. Even that's slow. Everything's slow. Everything's super slow. All right. It looks like... Okay, Shopify store. Um, ad roll. Google, Facebook. Oh, Lucky Orange. Nice. Okay, so you already got... Um, you already know what visitors are doing. Um, modernizer. Okay, cool. Uh, no. What is this? Yeah, I don't want that. That was weird. Okay, that's... I, I felt intrusive, intrusified by that, so, um... That was weird. Anyway, so... Okay, I'm... Here on Beard Struggle, watch this video, and I'm so not gonna be able to... to watch this video. Are you still struggling to grow the thick, rich, manly beard you eagerly want to have? If you've tried everything on the market and you're still back at square one, you should give one more product a try. And I'm so confident it's the product you need, I'm going to let you order it on a totally risk-free basis. If you try it and you're not satisfied... I don't love this video, to be honest with you. Um... Like these, this just specific animation. So I'm, I'm guessing that you like Fiverr this or just had a freelancer do this. Um, these kind of cookie cutter videos. I don't really like the narration style of it. It seems just kind of like scammy already. Um, and I don't like this. What did I say? I, I don't like the way the guy's talking. And I don't like the way these animations are done. The, the, the illustration, sorry. Um, also, in this top footer, all of this is like white and kind of blends together. Now, it's great to have consistent styling. Uh, I'm just concerned, um, like, like, like this should be like a dark gray or something, you know, just, just to keep it out of there, like, uh, or just a completely different color, you know. Um, this is, okay, free shipping over orders. I don't think you need to say if it's U.S. or Can Canadian. Um, maybe you do. Or, uh, okay. And then call. I don't think you need to say call. Just put your phone number there. Shop. Hey. I would, like, this, this is just so busy. I would put, make sure everything is just on one line. And, oh, like security. You're shipping worldwide. That's why it gets complicated. Um, uh, God, what is, what is Beard White? What? Okay, so that's short code. See, on a slow internet, the short codes take a little while. What is, if you qualify to be a beard struggle brand Viking? I don't know what a brand Viking, oh God, it's three o'clock, okay. Um, I would explain this better because I don't. I, I'm guessing that you're not having people go to this directly. You're just having them act. You're, you're pushing traffic, um, like with like Facebook ads or something, to this page so people already have an idea of what it's about. Um, with landing on this raw from the homepage, I have no idea what that's about. The beard blog. I would don't say beard blog. Just say blog. Um, I get like you could, just call it beard blog here, but up here, like you need to save on room. What happened? Okay, well, that was a little bit weird. Are you or your partner obsessed with beards? Um, if you're writing every single post, I would either have a couple of, uh, what do you call them, pen, not pen letter, a couple of names that you just write under just, just to keep it more diverse, or remove this thing that's, tells you the author 
um, or have people guest blog. And those are the options from easiest to hardest. Um, okay, blog looks good. I mean, oh, geez, you got 10 pages? Dude, props to you. This is amazing. Are these like good posts? Or are they just like kind of like funny stuff? Oh yeah, and update your picture and grab it. That's not hard to do. All sounds blog. This is good, good layout. Keep you people people engaged if they're on the blog. Um, I'm not sure why I put this icon. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't see it. Okay, I'm not sure why I put this icon here. Um, also, this kind of needs more padding left and right. See how this button has padding left and right, and this one doesn't? I don't know what, what happened there. Um, I feel like a lot of the styling that came with the Shopify theme is really good, and I feel like you've tried to add stuff, which kind of clashes. Uh, even this click video to play, I'm guessing that a lot of people do do this. Um, I'm just concerned if you're pushing, again, Facebook ads, majority of them are going to be mobile. Do mobile people actually play this video? Because I know a lot of people just start scrolling right away. Um, so that's something to consider. I would still urge you to have, um, to explain what it is. You know, people are struggling to grow beard hair. Because um, even this, you know, it just bottles. That doesn't really tell me what this is about. Um, okay, I don't think I ever dissected the, the homepage yet. Okay, growth, soften and style. Stop the itch. Okay, cool. You know, ironically, this guy looks like he shaved. It didn't look like, like you say, grow and thicken. Looks, this looks like this guy shaved. He went from best beard ever to I just shaved. This guy, yeah, okay, that, that's appropriate. Okay, audience beard. Or, or, sorry, Apprentice Beard Products. See, now, what, what's throwing me off is that you've got this alignment going on with the here, but then you break it over here, and it's all the way to the left. It kind of throws me off. And then here it's back. So I would keep this alignment all across the site. And actually, if you're going to have three sections like this, I might alternate. So keep this left aligned, keep that right aligned, but line it up with this line. Um, just a quick styling for the ultimate giveaway. One year supply of beard balm. And it's also kind of weird because these buttons, they look like Amazon buy buttons. And those were like not... Okay, shop A. Why is this shop A? Can this just be shop? I, I don't like that. And why is it got an apostrophe? I don't want a shop A. I just want a shop. Um... Filter, okay, those are by categories. What is this, ad? What? Is that add to cart? All right, this add to cart needs to be either on top of the image or have like a cart icon. This is just trippy. Okay, so all your, okay, I see. So you're just trying to gain more trust by having um, these Amazon buy buttons. I don't know, M McAfee, however you say that. I don't, I don't like that icon. I don't, uh, they're like an antivirus thing, aren't they? I, I don't see why that's relevant. Okay, reviews, that's fine. I might have the reviews instead of like this, maybe in a tab, if people actually want to read this. But maybe you found that it's valuable to have them down here. Um, it's, it seems like you have, um, tested all this because you are running you know a bunch of analytics and lucky orange so you know what people do um if you found that this is this is useful then that's useful um again with the mcafee what what i don't understand why is this everywhere why why do i i don't know that that freaks me out the fact that you have it everywhere makes me think that like why are you so concerned about it i'm i'm like this is https uh, it looks like it's well designed. I don't know why you'd be so concerned about it. Is this the Instagram feed? What is going on? So I just clicked something. What? There was like, there's a feed here. What is... All right, I'm a little confused what's going on here. This feed is throwing me. Is this? 
What is this? Oh, this is Instagram. I would not put this here. This is... Or at least say that it's an Instagram feed because this clashes with these product images. I thought it was product images that was scrolling. but And then I thought this left and right made this scroll, but this circulates products. So I wouldn't even have people go. Why would you want them to go away from the product that they're interested in? That's that's a bit weird, especially when they don't know where they're going to go. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's that's my biggest thing. And then I know you can have more, uh, not just related products, but like ha show people the entire category that contains this specific product. So maybe you have that in there too, so people can explore what other options you offer. Um, okay, beard combs. Also, um, always crop your images square like this and keep them all consistent um because this like this doesn't look very nice when they're not when they're not all aligned it's kind of expensive comb okay looks cool though all right um instagram feed that guy's ripped all right beer blog our family so what is our family and what okay so our family i'm not sure i mean i get it you, you're trying to have a lot of social proof here um also you got a broken link but i'm not sure this is the best way to do it this especially when it's taking up so much prime real estate up here about us actually yeah why don't you just put our family this whole instagram feed um don't call it our family i i get confused like i, I thought this was going to be your backstory and then about us was going to be like uh the store itself i literally thought family so maybe just like if you really want to do it like do like beard army or something that's clearly i don't know or, or beard community if you want to get creative um but i might i would put it down here um and then maybe actually at the bottom of About Us, do like our favorite products and then get them back into the store and check out everything that's in there. Okay. Okay, so this is when you, what happens when you go to the shop overall. Sale. I feel like sale. I think this, I, I'm guessing this corresponds to this one. So I'd float it on the top of here in the corner. It would also be nice to know a little bit about the product beyond um beyond just the picture from here without having to click click on it so if i could hover over and see the product description i think that would be really helpful um okay so this is the entire store got it okay page one of one what is help why is so i'm guessing this is an order of importance but why is help the second one usually help center so this is like FAQs. I would call this FAQs because I, whenever I go to help, I think it's like it's like technical support. Like my, I don't know what my router doesn't work. Um, so that that would be my thing. What is reviews over here? Okay, that's kind of weird because it's, it's not even for a product that I might not be interested. In. I don't know. Um, so yeah. Um, I would also look into a referral program of some sort because I bet this sort of stuff would do great on that. You know, beard, the beer community is huge. They love sharing the stuff that they're using. So I think if you can throw something their way, um, that would be helpful. Check out like referral candy, friend buy. There's, there's a ton of different ones. Um, yeah, so just uh, my, my main criticism is clean up this, this top nav bar. Maybe even um, make that uh, spacing less severe between the... Where is that letter spacing? It's just it's just killing me. Maybe like one pixel? Yeah, even that, like at one pixel letter spacing, that already looks better to me. It looks like it's more legible, you can see what's what. Um, I think that helps a lot. All right, well, that was a quick overview. Uh, I hope you find this helpful. Um, if you have any more questions or um, wanna chat, feel free to contact me. All right, cheers.